All right, guys, finally, Ballistic Advantage Barrel is here. Cataboy32 channel inspired me to make this video. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so uh, I'm making the whole build. It's going to be a memorial build for uh, the Fallen Soldier, for one of my friends. And uh, I picked up a Ballistic Advantage uh, barrel. And not like a Cataboy 32, I ordered mine directly from a Ballistic uh, Advantage. And while I'm going to be unboxing it, it's actually a different barrel, not the one that he had. Uh, you know, I also got a scope over here. We're going to take a look inside of this particular bar barrel and see uh, how the rifling is because this is not their premium quality it's something else it's a di different one it's called a modern series right and uh, while I'm gonna be unboxing it guys I'm just gonna tell you a little quick story it took me a whole month uh, to get this barrel like this is just ridiculous uh, so I order I order a wrong barrel it's totally my fault I would a wrong barrel. Uh, I'm not gonna get into details uh, because it's a long story. You know, I totally my fault. I send, I send it, I send, I send it back, pay for the shipping, and obviously to send it to me, I pay for pay, pay for for uh, shipping uh, as well. So uh, it took a whole month for the process. Their system is so outdated, guys. I mean, I don't know, guys, if Ballistic Advantage watching me uh, this video. You, you have to do something with this because it's been it's been a while since I had to go through a ticket system with the replacement uh, first of all just to reach him it take it's going to take about 10 times to call uh, I call different time different days you know was talking to the guy see how uh, to do a return uh, process and uh, I had to uh, go on website I have to fill up the ticket um, then when I finally got approved apparently I didn't know I had to actually go back to this ticket, not just uh, respond on email, um, and uh, continue to fill up the form um, on this uh, ticket and uh, request uh, on which barrel I have to replace. Well, that didn't work out. I don't know why. Uh, they ended up refunding me the whole money. So, uh, you know, the point of the ticket system, honestly, I, I just do not understand. What is the point of their uh, ticket system? They still had to refund me the money. Guys, I didn't need the money. I just need a simple replacement. Uh, you know, you should have provided me with uh, some kind of returning label. That then in the end, you could just charge me charge me uh, for uh, returning the item. I'm fine with that. It's very easy. You have those cards um, on a uh, record. If you don't, I can provide you. Why you do, did it this way, I have no idea. But, I mean... Uh, the whole freaking month is finally finally here. Uh, so this is how it comes. Just uh, nice packaging. I actually uh, put a gas block on it already. They pin it as well. I just didn't want to go through this uh, to save it ten bucks. Um, I don't even have a tool to be honest to do a pinning. Uh, just uh, dimpling. And uh, I didn't want to. I, I just I didn't want to go through all this. Um, it's much easier for them to do. I'm pretty sure they're gonna do more professionally. But it is what it is. I also obviously order gas tube right here, mid length. And here we go. As you see, it's all oily. I don't want to mess up my uh, desk right here. Okay, I'm just gonna put this paper. And we're going to take a look. I like the fact that it's all covered in oil. It can, it can sit in this packaging for years. Okay. So this is a pencil barrel. Um, modern series. Uh, 5.56. Five, six, uh, 16 and a half inch Ooh, it is really slippery there's no 
cover on this. Oh, actually, never mind. It was a cover right here. Looks pretty nice. Uh, QPD uh, or QPQ, I think so. Um, corrosive resistant um, coating on it. Just their modern edition pencil barrel. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a great, great barrel for uh, my build. Um, as you notice, it comes with this pin. So I would have to install this pin into a gas block. So it will definitely ain't going anywhere. But here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. After I wipe it off because there is a lot of oil on it with my scope <laughs> the same exactly scope that Teraboy 32 um, was using it it's freaking awesome guys if you're doing the job like this if you build guns and if you clean the guns you, you wanna uh, check it out if you uh, if you wanna check it out how your barrel if you you know take everything out of it if you wanna inspect your barrel even if you do car jobs you know inspect your cylinder take out the spark plugs and inspect uh, your cylinder you can use this not a sponsor 50 bucks on Amazon this thing is freaking phenomenal so I got it same exactly one he got and I'm gonna be using I'm gonna show what's inside I'm not gonna be running anything through it just like it is but I'm definitely gonna go go ahead and clean uh, this uh, barrel right quick hold on all right I get rid of all the oil from it looks very nice a definitely quality made barrel I really like this coating uh, by the way feed ramps it's also uh, QPD uh, corrosive resistant coated looks really really nice and let's go ahead and uh, put the uh, my uh, bore scope through by the way I ran a couple of patches uh, with hopes 9 and I uh, a couple of four patches with the oil uh, because it's actually was pretty dirty it was no point to show you guys the barrel because it was all covered uh, in some dots from machining and here we go let me see let me look on the beginning of the chamber let me look at the chamber there's a little bit scratches here uh, nothing crazy our um, Rifling looks pretty nice on the beginning. Okay, I'm not sure what is this. There's a little scratch down there. On the beginning rifling looks really good and sharp. I love this freaking scope. And look, look how good it is. I don't know what is this trace of copper. Huh. Okay. Now we're in about in the middle right now. This is the middle of. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the muzzle. Okay. Come on. I mean, so far it looks good. I mean, the little scratches here and there, it's not a big deal, but overall, it's really good. And here we go. This is the exit. This is a muzzle. Looks all good, really sharp. Okay, now and uh, let me find a gas port. I hope it's gonna take me a while to find a gas port. Oh, did I just? Oh, here we go. Damn, I was quick on it. All right, this is a gas port between the rifling. This is very good. Okay, looks all good, pretty sharp, there's a little scratches around it, but it's not a big deal. You can see a gas block down there, let me look around it, I mean so far so good. This is how your barrel is supposed to look after you clean it really good. We go, there is some pivoting there, just scratches, this is just from machining. I mean, hey, I mean, this is not a $800 rifle, I mean, a uh, barrel, but so far looks pretty.
pretty pretty good look at this rifle and really sharp really sharp I like it I really do I really do so here we go this is inside of a barrel okay just another ballistic advantage uh, barrel modern series uh, guys consider to subscribe liking it really helps me out and uh, you're gonna see this uh, particular barrel installed and test fired on my future build uh, for uh, it's a memorial build that I'm doing for a friend of mine um, check it out this video I'm gonna be installing and uh, basically building this whole rifle uh, using uh, this uh, barrel now uh, before I go I want to mention something to you uh, the price that I pay I looked at the statement here um, so uh, the price on these for the modern series at the time when I was ordering it was a uh, like a maybe $30 uh, discount or something like that anyway right to my door it was a 199 oh I'm sorry 191 with the gas uh, block installed and pinned uh, and including this uh, gas tube okay uh, the gas block was 40 bucks alone including the, the the job so that's why I said earlier that I didn't want to do it myself uh, just gonna let it professional do it and I don't have a tool to actually pin the block um, anyway and uh, my bad I said that I have to pay for shipping it actually was free ship it to me but with the return uh, deal I had to pay to ship them back which is was my total fault uh, so I, I pay for that but the fact that it took a whole month to get a uh, processed uh, guys this is not good hope you watch will watch this video and maybe fix this old school type uh, return uh, deal guys uh, thank you for watching and if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching